So here today in the studio shooting some product photography and some seasonal content. Um, I'm going to take you through how I light the product, how I choose props and how I get creative in the studio. So follow along and see how I create these images. It's important when we're looking to do a photo shoot that we take the right brief but also that we get some inspiration. So what I tend to do is I tend to so I look at a mood board and set up uh, some creative ideas and just sort of get some inspiration that I can then build on uh, and add my own spin on things. Um, so today we're going through some seasonal content with sort of a Black Friday theme. Um, I mean black background and things like that, plenty of shadows, um, just so we can get creative and do some lifestyle product photography. The first product that I'm shooting is these um, Eat Natural Protein Bars and I'm going to set this up as like a sort of a workplace um, sort of setting so it's more of a lifestyle vibe to things really. I went shopping the other day and went to the range, very good for props. Um, so I just picked out a few different products so we've got a client product here which is like an energy nootropic supplement and I've chose the page on the book here that says about energy. Um, so that kind of ties in nicely with that. So there's always sort of a reason why I pick things when I'm picking props. Um, and I just want to keep this very neutral, very grey, black and white, and just very simple really. Right, so we're going to get this lighting set up now. Um, so first off, I'm going to have a light from behind, just to sort of highlight things um, and highlight the products. And depending on how hard you want the lighting or how hard I want the lighting on the shot, um, I swap from a soft diffusion to a more harder diffusion with the light. You can change things quite dramatically um, and how the picture looks and feels um, depending on what sort of uh, lights you use. So I've just put this on uh, the light just so that it gives more of a spotlight onto the actual product itself. Um, and just really highlights them. So I felt like it were a little bit too bright to begin with, basically. Um, obviously we shoot onto an actual laptop so we can see exactly what's working and what's not working. Now we've taken our shot, uh, we can view it on the screen so we can review it and see any lighting changes or like um, composition changes we need to make. such as like this book, any like pens. We've got a massive prop cupboard, um, which is always handy and it's a lot quicker to go to sort of that than having to source things every single time. And it's cheaper for the client, to be honest. So I chose this camera because it's got a high megapixel and it can also sort of a blow up for banner sizes, exhibitions, um, really, really big, large format print but equally it's also really sharp for social media type images and any marketing images. So we're all set up now. Um, we've got plenty of time to crack on with things and tick off that content. Uh, lighting's good to go, camera's good to go, so let's go. In a day, it's a bit of a multi-content approach. So as an athlete and as a bodybuilder, I have to sort of uh, take UGC content, like for Reflex, uh, I've done some stuff for them. Uh, and they send me some products and they want pictures of me with the product. But then at the same time, I often have to also get um, product photos for the brand without me in. So it's like a professional photographer approach. So we're always constantly doing content from UGC angle and product photography angle. Obviously when I'm taking a brief from a client or trying to give advice on the direction of where the shots might go, we could create, uh, you know, like anything really. Um, so it could be keeping it really, really simple and literally just having a hand in there with a just a background behind, just really nice and lit and very, very clean and simple with the focus is just on the product. Or it could be um, going as far as doing some like CGI and creative retouch where we've got like smoke and 
like explosions coming out of like a, a protein shake or something, you know, like the liquid going all over the place. Um, or we could just go somewhere in between and choose some product, products with props and just simple backgrounds to make it more lifestyle oriented. So I'm just going to change the light source now from the front light, so at the minute we've got quite a hard, small spotlight. I'm going to change it to a bigger, sort of, um, softer light with a soft box, just to get a bit more of a lifestyle, natural light feel to things. I just took the photo there, now I've changed the lighting, um, it's brightened things up quite a bit. So if you can see on the screen here, this is where it was like before, where we had a nice hard light on there and then I've added another light in to soften it. It's not quite the finished article yet, we just need to lighten that background up now, but it just shows how changing simply the background and also the lighting style can change an image quite dramatically and give it a different look and feel. That's those products done. I'm gonna show you next how we just use a hand, just really dead simple, just a hand in the background to showcase the product in a photo. Have you done this loads of times before and it's really effective? and just keeps the focus right on that product. We're just shooting a um, energy drink now. Um, so happy to get involved, the whole team at Pitch Perfect. So Jen's hands are often in the shots. Uh, so if you see any photos of, of ours and it's a hand in there, it's generally Jen's hand who works in our social media and customer care. Um, so yeah, all happy to get involved. Um, sometimes adding a hand into a shot is a real good way of adding that human element and interaction. This is space all the way around the product to add any like campaign text or logos, things like that. So this is really good because we've shot this in a landscape format. So we've got a full picture here. So if these were to use this on say like an exhibition stand and flyers, leaflets, we've got that opportunity because I've left loads of space around it. So this could even be cropped in a portrait as well. So this image is like a multi-use, so it's very simple effective and very clear what the actual point of the uh, image is. It's about the product and about someone just grabbing that and go. Um, so that's meant to just be very clear, very simple and just effective basically. Know your standards are high so our expert team are here to help you manage your project every step of the way with their over two decades of experience. Contact myself and the Picture Perfect team for our unmatched photo and video service.